So you probably land on this video because you're wondering how you can get approved for a $6,000 credit card even with poor credit or even better yet without them doing a hard pull on your credit score. That's what we're going to go over today. But I want you to do me a favor. Stay to the end because I'm also giving one lucky winner, the first person that can show three subtle changes within this video. At the end of this video, you show me three subtle changes, you put it in the comment section, and the first person to discover it will win $100. And I'm going to send it to you instantly. All right? All right. So let's get busy. Hey, how you doing? My name is Kawan Money Mayo, successful online entrepreneur, six-figure earner, top affiliate in multiple companies. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to get approved for a credit card, even if you have poor credit and without them doing the hard pull on your credit report. As I said before, make sure you stay to the end because one lucky winner is actually going to receive $100 if they can show me three subtle changes that happen within this video at the end of the video. All right, so I know you're probably wondering, just how you gonna get approved for a $6,000 credit card or any type of credit card, your credit is bad, right? Like you was always told, if you have bad credit, then there's no way you're gonna ever get approved for a, a non-secure credit card, right? You get you get those secure ones all day, but to get a non-secure credit card and they, with a 6,000 limit, and I can't tell you how much they'll approve you for because you know, of course that varies and it's so many different factors. But with this trick I'm gonna show you, you can get approved without doing a hard pull in your credit report. And it really doesn't matter what your credit score is currently. So you might have good credit, you might have bad credit. It really doesn't matter. Now what I will say before we go into it is, I don't even know what it determines what makes a person get approved and what makes a person doesn't get approved. So with that being said, when we go through these steps, a couple things you wanna keep in mind. One, it does not work every time. Okay, so it'd be time. It might work today, won't work tomorrow. It might not work today and will work tomorrow. So what you wanna do is after we go through the steps, if it doesn't work out, then just opt out and then try again another day. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna dive right in. So I'm gonna show you how I got approved for a $6,000 credit card and you can do the same. So follow my lead, here we go. All right, so there's a few different sites that you can use and a few different cards that you can apply for. We're gonna apply for our card at the sportsmansguide.com, okay? So you're gonna to go to this website, you're gonna sign up. So that's the first thing you first thing you wanna do. First thing you wanna do is actually sign up for an account. So we're gonna go over here, create new account. Now existing buyer, fill out all this information. Fill it out correct. Now you want to start this whole process on the incognito window. Okay, very important. Create your account. Okay, after you go to your account, go back to the home page. Now what you want to do is you want to find a hundred dollars worth of stuff. It doesn't really matter what it is. Just you're, you're, you're just trying to find a hundred dollars worth of stuff to put into the cart. So you're going to pick, like I said, pretty much anything, just as long as it comes out to be roughly around a hundred dollars. So right here we got a uh, hundred and twelve dollars. So we'll pick this. Okay. Gonna add that to cart. Now I've all worked. I was just about to say, dude, we should get, um, I asked if we want to get, um, if we want to apply for a credit card. So as you see right here, it says we can use the card uh, to, for our checkout. So we want to put yes. Yes, I want to accept. Now, if this was done correctly, it should only ask for your last four digits to your social security card. If it asks for anything other than the last four, then it's doing a hard pull and you wanna back out at this point. If it only asks for your last four, then you could proceed forward because now you have been approved for the card and it's not going to do a hard pull on your credit. So let me go fill the rest of this out. Okay, so let's fill all this out. You no, know, go through the term service. Make sure you read everything. Then hit accept. And if all went well, it should show how much we've been approved for. And there it is. Congratulations, you have been approved. Okay. So 
to see how much we've been approved for. It says, for your convenience, we have entered temporary credit card info, which has been assigned to your account for you to use on this order. That way you'll receive an additional 2.5% off the merchandise total, which is reflected. So basically, they pre-approved us. We already approved, but the reason why I don't show the amount right here is because we don't have, um, this, this is just a temporary right now, so we can actually check out. So at this point, what you wanna do is you don't place the order, you just check out, you just opt out of this point because you already got what you wanted, which was this credit card. All right, so you can also do the same thing with Wayfair, which is another website you can go to. And you're going to do the same thing like we did with the other one. You know, you're going to find $100 worth of stuff to put in the cart. doesn't really matter what you pick. You can pick anything. This right here, do. Just right here like this. You know, $99. Put that in the cart. Just like we did before. And then go ahead and add that to your cart. Do you want to check out, you know, just like before you put in at least $100 worth of merchandise in your cart. Put your shipping address. And then if everything goes right, then you'll get a card to pop up just like this with an offer with them asking if you want to uh, apply for this card. So put you up. And as you see, we just got approved for $8,000. Okay, so as you can see, I actually got approved for two cards. A couple other sites I'll give you as well that you can try this at. You can try this at express.com, uh, which is a clothing store, and you can also try this at victoriasecret.com. Both of those are pretty easy to get approved for versus like some of the other stores. Those are like two of the easiest ones to get approved for. Um, so I would definitely try those as well. So I just gave you four stores that you can try and pretty much do this trick. And if it works, awesome and you use this to offset your credit so a lot of times people do this and then they want to go max out the card or go spend it you defeat the whole purpose the purpose in doing this is so that when you have more credit then you can offset your buy to buy your, your spending buy ratio basically you're supposed to stay under 30 percent if you want to keep your credit score good so anytime you have credit cards you want to, and it's your overall volume not just the one card it's all your cards combined so let's say, for instance, you only had a $2,000 credit card limit on one of your cards, right? And you already spent $1,500 worth of it. So even though you might be paying your bill every month, like clockwork, unfortunately, it's hurting you because you're way over that 30% that they want you to be. So then it can dramatically drop your score. And I'm talking about like 30, 40, 50 points. But the opposite of that is if you're way under that 30%, you know, then you're going to actually be get rewarded for that. They're actually going to reward you for that. So they'll actually raise your credit score because they see that you're not using up that much of your credit limit. So when you have more credit lines, right? So let's say you have 2,000 here, you have 1,000 here, you got three here. So now with all that credit, you can offset the one that you actually use. The $2,000 card that was 1,500, it's no longer at 30% in the eyes because now it's combined with all of your credit. So with all your other credit cards, you're still under your 30%. So now you can actually leverage that hunt that $2,000 credit card and actually have it close to being almost maxed out, but not hurting you and, and, and showing up in the negative, if that makes sense. So this is the reason why the more credit and the more credit lines you have, the better. Now keep in mind, you don't wanna open up too many new accounts. That can also have a negative effect on your credit. So if you're trying to buy something like right now, get approved for a car or get a house or something like that, then be mindful of opening up new accounts. But if you don't have anything like that, and or if you're trying to establish credit, you know, you're trying to get, you're trying to start getting things going, then this is definitely a good way to do that. And to be able to start getting some trade lines up in there and then start being able to build some rapport. That way you can get some of the bigger cards afterwards, okay? So what you wanna do with these is you wanna use this as leverage as to have your overall uh, credit uh, buy ratio to be high, you know, spending ratio to be high. So, and, and, and for that to be low, as far as how much you, of it you're using. So in order to do that, like I said, start building, apply for a few of them three four or five of them right and then at that point you pay and then you pay it off before it's due every month pay it off pay it off pay it off and that way it shows that you're consistently making payments on time right and in time this is going to dramatically raise your score okay so I hope you got value out of that and I hope it make I hope that made sense. All right, so I appreciate you rocking with us today. Hopefully you was able to catch the three different things that had changed within this video. If you didn't 
catch the next one, all right? So that's what we're gonna be doing to blow this channel up. What I'm gonna do is every video I put out once a week, I'm gonna give away $100. And I'm giving away $100 to one lucky person or the first lucky person that could pick three subtle things that changed within the video. So it was three different things that changed from the time I started this video in the beginning to now. So if you caught the three things that changed, then I want you to put in the description below. Put in the comment section. And I'm gonna go through those comments. I'm gonna pick the first person that was able to find all three subtle different things that changed within this video. And that person's gonna win instant $100 straight to your account. Cash or Bitcoin, not a problem. I'll be giving away $100 to a lucky winner every week until further notice, and I'll be putting up at least one video a week. So you stay tuned, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. If you missed out on this one, then just catch the next one. You gotta be on point. You gotta watch it to the end, because you never know when them three subtle changes are gonna come. It might be in the beginning, it might be in the middle, it might be in the end. But the only way that you're gonna know is if you stay to the end. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Also hit the bell, that way you get notified. And don't forget to stay tuned and check out one of my videos once a week where I show you how to get money like a boss. I appreciate you, it's Kawan Money Mayo, out.